and welcome to the under 16's grand final Wollonga and Mount Compass here at Encounter Bay. So there goes the cheering, so the national anthem has completed here now and teams will start to take their positions as a final dress and go in position here for the start of this 2020 GSFLW Grand Final. That's a mouthful, isn't it? Mouthful trip. Where are you going through that one? Very good for a Sunday trip. Doogie Dogs looks like he's got a blowout in the back paw there. He's lost, he's done a runner. Looks like we've got three bound round pies, two will be running on one side by the looks. Yeah, well, it's just like yesterday, the way the football was moved around between Wollonga and Encounter Bay yesterday, yeah. it, was, uh, it was amazing, wasn't it? And probably the, the smart the move here too is that the, the young lads have worked out that the wind's going over the club are inside, so the two have gone over where you would think yeah. the majority of the play would be going over, and so he'll get more going. Doogie runs past us, <laughs> double zero. What we expect everyone to be on breathalyzers, zero, zero. So here we are, almost setting ourselves up here now for the grand final in the under 16s. So we go forward up into here. Umpire with the footy, let's rock and roll. 2020 grand final, under 16s, Mount Compass and Wollonga. Mount Compass first out of the blocks with the first handball. Wollonga now pick up it. So if little toe poke forward or could pick up off Compass, not 15 plans to call. Umpire wrapped up and we'll come in and ball up. Quite quickly they do, up up in the middle again, could tap over the top, could handball four by Mint Compass, play have to run up or tap it forward again, plenty of players roughing up onto it. The old cricket bitch was a little bit greasy yesterday. It's dried out now, dried right, out isn't it? Today, and that bit of breeze in the sunshine. And for again with a football up up in the air, good ruck contest, tapped on down, chance here for Wollonga trying to pick it up, plenty of players around the footy all eager, grand final, kick away, smothered, Wollonga forward, can they get a bit of a roll on, can, good pick up, and good run for it, for Gilly Foyle, for Wollonga, bouncy bouncy ball, out in the compass there, can they pick it up, bend the back, pick it over, try to run through there by Emily Steele, and get it bottom of the pack, umpire will come in, for Gary Stewart, come in, and ball up once again, inside 50, for Wollonga, Probably have the advantage of the breeze. Good tap down there by Mount Compass. Hurry kick forward. Good mark taken there by Truman. Oh, Truman now plays on quickly. Heads it out to the wing. Bounce the ball. In front. Advantage for Mount Compass. Just bend the back. Pick it up. Can they get the favourable bounce? It does. Sits up nicely. Hurry kick forward. Out in front. Off hands. Close to the boundary line. Still with it. Well, Unger got on it. Got good tackle. Just possession of the ball. And. There's a throw from yep. the wrong way, umpire the hands the wrong way. He got me confused there for a little minute and it's a Desiree Cook from Mount Compass. That's way good kick forward inside 50, up underneath it. Compass could have taken the mark and there is a bit of the old sun spear in the old eyes there. Out in front of goals. Plenty of players going Two over high. the shoulder says the umpire trip. And a free kick shot on goal maybe from Mount Compass. Certainly will be first time. It's nearly two minutes gone in the first quarter already, and Compass will be going for the first shot on goal. Roll up, can't pick up who the number is at the moment. We'll wait for her to come around, we'll get through. And she lines up, probably about 30 metres out. Puts the ball up, looks good. Umpire's not moving, and that goes for number 10, which is Carney Russell. So now Compass gets the first score on the under 16 grand final. They go to one goal for Lunga yet to score. Yeah, no, we kick, we kick forward too. I'm going to say the breeze, look at this, belting across towards the club room side, but didn't really uh, shift a lot. A good start there for Mount Compass. On the board, and security office on the job trip. So yeah, fixed your problem. Good going, yeah. yeah. Gonna be outside the fence. Ball gets tapped in, tapped down again. Well, I'm trying to pick it up with the footy. Trying to pick it up, still trapping on forward, trying to push forward. Compass with the footy, trying to move it out of the centre. Trying a little toe poke on the ground, but plenty of red and white players there in Wollonga. Wollonga trying to pick it up, a player yeah, didn't have hold of it, held on to. Free kick, Wollonga. Yeah. Um, 10, isn't it? Uh, 30, 30, sorry. Yep. Yep. And again, Wollonga. Showberg. Step over the top, too big for an opponent. Forward, ball in dispute, up on the ground. Plenty of players going down left, right and centre. Stacks on the mill. I'll probably Gary Stewart will come in and ball up. Pushing it forward. 
outside 50. Oh, there they go. Right contest, got it down. Oh, our back. Oh, got swept away from the, from the compass. Oh, on the ball. Kick. <laughs> <On the> ball. <laughs> Didn't see that one. It was knocked out of her head. Yeah, yeah. yeah incorrect disposal. It was. Eh? Balkans come in forward again. Good got out of there. And oh, good, good mark. Plays on quickly. Jams it on the boot to the centre. There is time for a player to run through. It is for Compass and that is Amber Thomas. Thomas now plays on quickly outside 50. Good mark there. There, there by Amber Smith. Plenty of Ambers in there. Ambers, Ambers Smith. yeah. Plenty of Ambers in there. Oh, Ambers kick to go forward to Russell. Didn't come off well again. Wollonga trying to do it. In the spirit outside 50. Umpire might come into play. Bit of tunnel ball going on here. Bottom the there's Amber Smith. Handball's out the back. Clever. Russell ducks the head to go in for the football. Plenty of players on it. I think the umpire might have to come in and have a ball up trip. Real nice. She's no, rolling around. So whilst it's rolling and it's good go, let it go. We don't do this. Stacks into here to over there go now. Now he decides he'll have to come in and uh, throw this ball up. On the forward flank here for Mount Compass into attack again. Up they go. Walunga gets the ball out. Comes over. Comes out quickly out there to Bridie Nye. She couldn't do anything with it. Goes out. The ball's rolling around. Compass picks it up. She gets wrapped up. No hope in there. And it comes in for a throw up once again. Still inside the 50 metre arc here. Up they go. No real tap down by either side there. Comes out just as they go to make Always the break. The as they go, the whistle goes. Umpires ask them to open up, which is a good move, if they can do it. So up they go, the girls go up, go down, comes back down, wraps up, and this is going to be tied up once again, and he'll repeat it once again. Grant comes in the umpire, throws the ball up, puts it all up. Compass gets it out, comes out here, goes back into that pack again, as well and jumps back. straight into the umpire, yeah. the other side, so he couldn't see that one. And <laughs> a couple of knees right at the back of the little <laughs> player there. And that one there was Keeper Bammett, so yeah. Up it goes now, comes back out again. Compass trying to tip it forward, turns around. We've got a pack of about 12 girls here, and they turn around running into it. Ball's bobbling around, now it's ping pong. Goes mm. out, perfectly picked up, but then dropped by Wollonga, and that was there, was out there, it was Wilson, Ella Wilson. Goes up, Wollonga now, goes up on the wings, tackled halfwards and goes out. Bouncing ball goes up. It's going to be three on one here, and it's going to encompass ways. And Wollonga players doing very well. Turns oh, around, gets it up on there, the holding the ball, goes down, and the recipient will go back to Mount Compass on that wing. True wing over the club room side, drives that ball forward. Over the pack it goes, runs out back into the 50 yard again now, right out in that far side. Turns around, Wollonga picked yeah. up beautifully. Handball comes out. Comes out quickly out there to the running player. It was Ella Wilson. She goes forward for Wollonga. Puts it up on the wing. Compass pick it up. Beautiful. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Lovely. Now she handballs inside. Goes in. The kick's up and under. And look at that wind just holds it mm -hmm. up there and comes straight down. And they've paid the mark. And that goes to Wollonga. Which goes Knight. around to Brighty Knight. And over to you, Nifty. Yeah, Brighty Knight with a kick. Ball down, or oh, that was the coach's box. It's not where it'd be. I don't think anybody touched that one, so it'll be a free kick mount compass and the kick in. Seven minutes be, gone, no, first hands. quarter. If anybody from Mount Compass wants to grab the footy, you can have a free kick here. Yeah, they do. Finally worked that one out. So, right on the interchange race here in Encounter by Ivy, you can see the flags in the background there. She's so really belting along. Kick for a forward. Comes down, comes one, you can't mark it. Compass get a kick away. Hurry kick, not 15. Plants a call from the umpire. Soccer off the ground in this boy. Compass a kick forward, a one on one situation. Who's going to be the first there? Little toe poke forward again. Compass trying to keep it out in front. Oh, well done. Well, under in defence. Picked up beautifully. Bouncy ball again. Oh, here comes out. Pick up. Oh, that was a bit of a good handball out that one. I would have thought it a crow throw. Bounce off the cricket pitch again. Bit of body work. Wollonga outnumbered Mount Compass. The kick forward, kick forward it is by Wollonga for Emily Smith. He's playing pretty well at the moment. The kick's off target straight down Mount Compass defensive throw. Puts again, load up with a football. Turn over, Mark intercepted by Schultz. I think it is 60. Yeah, by Schultz for Wollonga. Bounce ball, no one wants to go for that one. Tap inside 54. Wollonga gets a chance for him to run on again. Pack of players will loom in there. And I've got Gary Stewart will come and ball up for him. Eight, twelve, eight minutes, twelve seconds gone. So it's an eternity ago when they kicked that first goal, isn't it? Yeah, it does. So up it goes. 
comes back down through uh, Compass out there. Wollonga get the ball, kick this one forward, and they're going deep now into attack. First time. Up they go, turn around. Compass grabs the ball though, and out they come. Puts it around, around, comes out. Compass now trying to edge this ball out of defence, and it comes up, and they've got a whistle on play. Free kick back into the back pocket there for Mount Compass. So the ball has been returned. Comes back. Probably disadvantaged Compass then because they had they were out free. There was two girls uh, completely by themselves, so advantage would have been huge for them. Up it goes. They kick the ball forward now. Goes out in that flank on the club room oh, side. Yeah. Goes over. Yeah. Malunga gets the ball. Beautiful return of speed. Goes out. Brings it forward in the forward line. Compass is set up well though. Okay. Tackles around. Goes onto it. Goes down. And the umpire comes in to throw the ball up on that forward flank for Malunga. Certainly need to get a score if they can. Up and under it goes. Up and down. Same pack. Comes around. Malunga get it. But smothered. Kick goes just slightly along the ground, goes around, stacks on the end, the umpire is picked out for hanging on and a free kick to the defending side in Mount Compass. Professional free kick. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Had enough of this ball up. Compass with the kick in, Cove over towards the coach's box again, high ball comes off with plenty of hands, still goes close to the boundary line in front of Compass coach's box there, we've got a whistle, a free kick on the one under. Drive it into the brace, cross wheel. Well, that one's Ooh. gone on there. That one might go to the car park, and yeah, that's gone to the car park. Pen around by right on the money, and out on the ball. So it comes to the game to the journey. Yeah. It's like a fair bit of effort, but they really need to switch it up and come scoreboard side. It's the only way to really do attack you with this cross brace. Goes back in again. Good mark. No, 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 Mark wasn't paid up in there. Plenty of oh, kicks off the ground. Handball, try to hurry, handball, plenty of players around. Oh, could pick up and drive forward there. It is for Wollonga, but oh, well, well done back there, boy. Yeah, Jade Russell, I think it is, for yep. Matt Compass. And the fence. And she kicks it back up into it. Again, pack of players in the contest. Pick up around the corner, it is. It's not Boulay, I reckon it could be. Brook. And to the boundary line. And off hands, boundary umpire. Throw it back in again. Be a tough throw in and drive it into the breeze. Good go. They go again. Yeah. Compass cows are contesting it to each other. They're fighting over it. And ball goes kick off. Nobody touched that one. Wollonga, free kick trip. Certainly is. Wollonga now. Need to get a go on. One minute left in this turn. No time on in the first two quarters. Goes off and comes down to Compass. Compass picks the balls up and drives it back from where it's come. Oh, There's a return much. one there. Over the head, running backwards and got the ball. Now she drives it deep into it. It's good. It's going out there, but unfortunately, nobody touched mm. it and will be in defence aside. 11 and a half minutes gone, so there's only 30 seconds left in here in this first quarter. And the girls' grand final here at the Counter Bay Oval. In they come. Compass puts the ball up. Up they go. Hands are in. Hits the pack. Comes out. Well, under at the back. Turns around, gets around, and kicks it slightly forward, and comes out. Compass have been very good and defensive in running the ball. Wollonga trying to trap this ball and goes off into it. Out comes a handball through Mount end. Compass again. Goes out, up there, big body onto there, goes in there. Wollonga keeps coming through. Turns around, and there goes the siren for the end of the first quarter with Mount Compass. One straight goal to Wollonga, yet to score. Yeah, and one straight goal there is County Russell for Mount Compass is the only goal kicker of the match so far, only scorer of the match so far. So, yeah, got a handy goal for them. Compass look like they've got a little bit more drive forward, but we'll under, yeah, with the aid of the breeze, they've had a fair bit of the time up there inside around their 50, but just didn't get it inside too far, close to the big white sticks. Over break, it was quarter time.